the Spear of a Doom lies dormant beneath the heart of the Conclave. I had hoped to raise it, to secure our victory against the Zerg. But now, it is our last hope for survival. Our time is. Why do you flee from your salvation? Solendis. She has fallen under Amon's control. Karax, we have to bring the Spear of Adun online. The first power cell is activating, but the remaining four have been disabled by Creep. I see. We have no choice but to clear them. What of our defenses? Unfortunately, they are without power. However, the Spear of Adun support systems can aid us. They will allow us to deploy pylons anywhere on the battlefield. We should deploy one here as soon as possible. These photon cannons can defend our Nexus Point, Tyrock. They require only a pylon to function. You can warp in a pylon using the Spear of a Dune. Press the Deploy Pylon button at the top of your command screen. Our cannons will now fire upon enemies within range. If they become damaged, the shield battery will restore their shielding. These defenses will indeed be vital to our evacuation, but our first priority must be to clear the power cells of Creep. It shall be as you say. It shall be as you say. Very well. Intriguing. Cell is active. The spear sensor array is reacting. Do not deny your destiny, Artemis. Your people have finally found true unity. Sensors online. Wait, what is this? Warp prisms approaching our nexus point. Stalkers, eliminate those warp prisms. We can now transform our gateways into warp gates. This allows us to warp in warriors to any area with pylon power. Shall be as you say. Intriguing.
Zergling bioforms unapproached to our nexus. We must rally our defenses. Command me. My meditation. Adon. Command me. You require my skill. Ula Sadari. Detecting unpowered warp gates nearby. Constructing a pylon next to them would restore their power, giving us an advantage. The Spear of Adun's deploy pylon ability would be ideal for this. Of course, our probes can always warp in pylons as well. Warp gate online. We can begin warping in warriors from it immediately, Hyrock. is over. Voice of the Eclipse. Not enough energy. Caution, Hierarch. You are approaching the Zerg's Hive Cluster. It will be heavily defended. I am the Hawk. I like the Hive. Command, I like the Hive. Upgrade complete. You require my skills. Another warp gate online. Prepare it for immediate use. Cold is the void for the reckoning.
on, Hierarch. All of the abandoned warp gates are now under our control. Finished Hierarch. The Spear of a Dune is nearly online. Only one cell remains. Enough. The end to the cycle of infinite madness has come. Cease your struggle against the Salvation I bring. Another pack of Zerglings is approaching our Nexus from the south. Transfer completed. The Spear of Badoon is ready to depart. Let all firstborn free from Amon aboard, Facemate. We must flee this world if we are to survive. As you command. engineering and last of the three great arc ships each created to ensure the continuation of our culture in a dark time within its chambers rest contingents of zealots templar who bravely sacrificed entering suspension so that they may serve as this vessel's army though it pains me greatly 
I had begun severing their nerve cords. The ship's lower decks contain a star forge capable of constructing weapons of war. There is much to learn about this vessel. Its technology is ancient, yet highly advanced. We are aboard a relic from a glorious time when our culture shined as a constellation. The Celestial Array has been updated, Hierarch. From here, you may select our next point of travel. With this vessel, we will avenge what has transpired, Carax, and we will free the Templar. the Zelnaga Keystone, which Zeratul foresaw would lead to our salvation. Though I have not seen Commander Raynor in many solar returns, I believe he will give the Keystone to us. The Nerezim of Shakuras ritually sever their connection to the Kala. Because of this, they are now the last free Protoss. I must reach them before Amon's armies. <laughs> 